Welcome back, everyone. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Crane's apartment because Holly's bar. I don't think Holly wants to see me right now, and I don't really need that fight. As promising as this is, I'm I don't know about that right now. But we're right here. We're right in this area. We can go do this real quick. Crane's place is right here. I should e exactly. Check first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. Will do. I hope you know what you're doing. And after they shot Holly, I really don't care what Bluebeard does to the bastards. Nineteen oh one, nineteen oh two, nineteen. Oh, hello. Anyone in there? Hello. Why is the door open? That's my question. Let's go inside. Rain. One hour and fifty-five minutes left. Shit! Oh! Ooh, he almost had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Hmm. Creepy. Yeah, right? That's what I was thinking, too. Really? Let's see. That's the door. Oh, that's the bedroom door. Okay, let's go look in here first, and then we'll go look in the bedroom. That's over here. This is the wine cabinet. Of course, you would have a wine cabinet, alright? Same brand we found in the open arms. Oh. Yeah, I knew there was something over here. Answering machine. There's a message. Well, play it. Crane. Look, the crooked man isn't happy, compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. <laughs> so, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! Okay. She sounded creepy and sexy all at once. Teacher this hasn't been used in years. Huh. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. I forgot too. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. Oh, he has the headless horseman on his desk. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Oh, I'm totally confiscating that money. <laughs> I could always use more cash. Let's see what's this. Notes. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. And, uh, watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. Oh, pfft. Don't be kidding yourself, man. I love her. <laughs> Or Bigby does. You know he does. Might be useful. A key! <laughs> is that all we, I can do? Is look at it like that? Yeah. I wouldn't 
think he'd be obsessing over something that would give me PTSD. That's for damn sure. Creepy ass. Nothing. Oh, there was something. Books. Math, science, history. Trying to guess? <laughs> this shit didn't work. <laughs> wow, the joy of lovemaking. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Was that Snow White in that picture? Oh, fucking hell. Scared the shit out of me. Alright, I guess let's go check the bedroom. Oh, hey, look at this. I have a key. Doesn't look like a room key, but whatever. Look at that. Oh, grab him! Uh -oh. Hi! Jack. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. Mm-hmm. This weather, right? Mm-hmm. A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like. But before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. And you're climbing out the window, douche nozzle. Hey! Oh, fuck! Get him, get him! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? Uh -huh. You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. <clears throat> pouty lip. Mm, he's got pouty lip. Poor baby. You know, this <laughs> tortured lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? That's not something you need to know. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. You're not going anywhere. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Uh-huh. I may not know why you're here, but... Yeah, doubt it. Somehow I doubt it. Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Fine. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. It's not like he was tell hurting anybody. He was just witch. burglarizing the place. Strong grip. Yeah. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. <laughs> uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. Exactly. Of course you don't. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Should've hit All him. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. 
Shit, did I just make a mistake? <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. I want to see what you grab did. Oh! Glamour! Glamour! The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? A witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the Crooked Man's places. Crooked I work man. there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're funny. Ha, ha, ha. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Want to try that again? You want to try that again? Thank you. That it? Fucking idiot. Take me? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. Oh. What's going on? Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on! Is that right? I thought we had an understanding. But he did have some information <laughs> about Crane's witch. Yep. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Green has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? <laughs> Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. Headphones are falling and off. I have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buff been searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. What if she's an authorized name, witch? <laughs> you don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Let's go meet Bluebeard, I guess. we will go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Fuck, I'm thinking I should have gone to the trip Hang trap. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Meh. <laughs> yeah, I got you in trouble. <laughs> I think I made the wrong decision here. I think I should have gone to the trip trap. Fuck. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? Excuse me. Oh. What's this nice guy? Fly catcher. Um. Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in, he... Oh. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What a fucking asshole. I'm sorry, I'm not yelling at you, I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> this guy see anything. <laughs> he said you sent him, but I don't know, I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. <sighs> don't worry about it, flycatcher. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The <laughs> twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be 
Thank you. Look, I'm running out of time. Fuck, I've got an hour Shit. left. Shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. <laughs> and I'll ask her about that job, all right? I'm gonna have sure. to look this guy up. Sure. <laughs> I don't know who Flycatcher is. So fly. <laughs> you too, Sheriff Bigby. He's kind of a sweetheart, though. I kind of like that guy. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, fuck a duck. 45 minutes. Shit. Shit. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going inside. I am sorry. I, I don't have time to waste. Knocking. Read the sign. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the ah, sheriff. Ah, fuck shit. Well, come on in, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is not... Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. He is drunk or high or something. Hi, Woody. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? I don't think you need any more Man, to drink. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it with You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? That's right, he got shot. Durr. <laughs> Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. You should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? <laughs> the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Ambrosia? But the deal hmm. is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now. It gives you a very, very, <laughs> very nice high. He's high, okay. <laughs> and he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. I don't think he cares. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral. I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Grant, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. <laughs> I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. I don't have two seconds. It's a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I'm running out of time, Gren. Grand, the 
Doc said you needed a rest. How many times are <gasps> you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! Whoa, I said I was buddy. Sorry, right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Hey, 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 hey! <clears throat> Boys! You're both pretty, knock it off. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her oh. behind all of her backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What oh. fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. Oh. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this. Hold on, Woody. I need oh, to ask yeah, you questions. That's it. Now you're teary eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. Wow. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> what a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gwen, Gwen won't remember this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Holly. Okay, well, I'm not going to wake her up. Creative alcohol. I don't know why I'm talking quietly. It's not like she can hear me. <gasps> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Can I get examine it or am I gonna wake her up? Oh, okay. <gasps> what is this? What is this? Don't wake her up, Big B. Don't wake her up. I guess. Poor, poor, uh, Holly. It's Faith. And Serena, and I'm, I mean, not, not Serena, n whatever her name was. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. I think he did. Cared. I still care. I think he I did. I hope so. I hope you do. I do th I do think he did care about her.
Oh, she's gonna wake up and get pissed. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Just go back to sleep, Holly. A dress book. Did she rip a, na a name out? Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He's just... He's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. <gasps> Fuck. We're getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Hey. Is anyone there? Hey, Snow. Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Excuse me. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, Hi. Me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, Fuck. I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Uh, let's go ahead and listen. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. I guess we're just going to have to knock. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a Munchkin's house. <laughs> well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, <laughs> turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? <laughs> You're rich, dear. No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. She's not the witch, is she? <laughs> That'd be weird. Crane, you could still be here. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, let's see. Record player, Deer Skull. This is a creepy ass apartment. Portrait. No one's been over all night. That your mom? Uh huh. It's a little old to have a kid that age. Skull. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. 
That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. You think, okay. She's cute. <laughs> Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. <laughs> hey, some honky tonk can be okay. Get your butt bouncing. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Hmm. Let's see what else. Oh, ooh, ooh, a tree. Where uh, do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh, my mommy makes all of mine. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> what is this? Mommy uses that deer. to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Um, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. And when I come back... I saw a spider over there yesterday. Really oh, now? It was uh, a pretty one. <laughs> when I come back, we're going to finish looking around this house. Um, thanks for watching, all. Ciao.